What the fuck is good, bitches? I am the almighty fucking massive creature. And I got some shit on my mind that maybe you can help me with. It involves this. Not this box, but Harry Potter. It involves Harry fucking Potter. See, I was watching Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone earlier, and something about it kind of confused me. You know how Voldemort was sustaining his life by drinking unicorn blood? How does drinking unicorn blood enable you to be on the back of someone's head? What if I drank unicorn blood? Would 90% of my body just vanish, leaving nothing but a face? And would my face fly off into a random direction, find a random person, and attach itself to the back of his head? How does drinking unicorn blood enable you to do that? I don't understand. Maybe you can explain it to me because my puny little mind just can't seem to grasp the concept very well. I was also watching Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. And you know how Tom Riddle was a memory? He was preserved in a diary for 50 years. Well, I started to think, okay, well, you know how Tom Riddle is essentially Lord Voldemort? You know, at the end of the movie, he spells his name and rearranges the letters and it says, I am Lord Voldemort. Yeah, he's Lord Voldemort. Okay, that's established. And since he was preserved in a diary for 50 years, this implies that Voldemort was existent for 50 years. You know, he was only a memory, but he was still a conscious entity with a will of its own that could communicate with people. If he was existent for 50 years, then that means that there were two Voldemorts, because that Voldemort would have been existent at the time of Sorcerer's Stone, when the other Voldemort was on the back of Coral's head. So how could there be two? There was the one in the back of Quill's head, there was the one in the diary, and I just can't seem to understand that. Also, how come Voldemort wouldn't have just made a thousand diaries with memories of himself, since a memory can be an entity in and of itself with a will of its own, because if one memory can do that, then any memory could. He could have an entire library of diaries. He could just be like, okay, memory, 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 and all of them could act according to whatever he wanted to do. So, I don't know, just a lot of fucking questions, a lot of things that I don't understand. I don't understand how there could have been two Voldemorts at the same time, and I don't understand why Voldemort wouldn't just create an entire fucking library of memories of whatever he wanted to, you know? Like, if he had a memory of a fucking giant-ass dragon, he could create a memory of that. And he could have the dragon just fucking kill shit. But yeah. Just two movies that are on my mind now. I need to watch Prisoner of Azkaban and some of the other ones. I could probably think of some random shit that, um, that I could talk about. But yeah, if you guys can maybe shed some light on these subjects, then that'd be fucking awesome! Because... Harry Potter just kind of confuses me at times. And I'm just kind of chilling here in my room. Gorn poster, Brock Lesnar poster, guitars, Wind Waker, and I am the almighty fucking massive creature. You're a dragon with wings, so don't stay on the ground. You know you love it.